Hello everybody, welcome back to our official channel, Ugbug77. Upon the subject of Ugg boots, you do find fake, cheap knockoff replicas. Today we're going to teach you how to spot fake knockoff Uggs. Take this time to subscribe to our official channel and become an Ugg bug. So as you see here, are 100% authentic lamb's wool Uggs. I repeat again, they're 100% authentic lamb's wool Uggs. I actually went to a factory store nearby my house and bought these. First and foremost, the most obvious and very shockingly terrible, <laughs> atrociously bad, dead giveaway for fake phony Uggs is that the material is absolutely rough. So the rougher the material is, the, l the most chance you have fake Uggs. Also, you've got to bear in mind, if it's a cheap saving price on the internet, like it's 50 bucks for a pair of Uggs, and they say it's authentic lamb's wool, you've got to sort of think to yourself, 50 bucks, that is not the real deal. You've got to pay the right amount for the right things, and you do get what you pay for. And so, back to how to spot a fake Ugg. The rougher the material is, that is correct, it is either fake, this is very soft, however, so this is definitely real. Stitching can be another dead giveaway. Sometimes with the fakes I see on the internet and YouTube, obviously, wonky stitching. Very bad and shockingly, terribly, cheaply made and manufactured. So make sure your stitching is always straight. They also do not hold their shape. If they're fake, they do not hold their shape. So, you know, you put them down. Real Ugg boots stay up like this. These are real. These are authentic, 100%. Fake ones go down like that, and they don't, they don't stay and hold their shape no matter what. Even if you stuff paper into them, they do not, they, they absolutely do not 100% keep their shape. Also, the tag on the back that says Australian Uggs or Uggs Australia, original, generally are the wonky, discoloured, or just spelt incorrectly, or maybe the fonts faded out a bit. However, this is not faded, this is perfectly applied. Sometimes with fake Uggs, the seaming at the bottom, you can actually spot the glue. And I've seen many, many terrible reviews on these terrible knockoffs. And these people have claimed, these poor innocent people have claimed that they're, they're, they're being robbed, basically, by daylight. On the internet. On the internet. Scammed. Because... Their Uggs have, you can see the glue, and it's quite obvious. With real Uggs, they don't just ship them off with the glue. They wait until they're dry, and then they ship them off. Also, if they're going to ship them off to you, they usually take pride in how they wrap them. So if you're going to buy them off the internet, stare at the boxing that when you get it, if you get the box and you order it online, because, you know, obviously you didn't see this video first, and then you watch it, and then you're like, oh, hope I get real Uggs and you receive the box and it's all messed up and disgusting, I would certainly send it back because if it's the real Ugg, 100% pure Ugg sales people, they generally take pride in their customers and how they deliver things. So I, I would certainly not trust the cheap knockoff China ones. You have to get the real deal. Most certainly a very obvious giveaway is that the lamb's wool is very glary. This is very not shiny, however, so this is real. As I repeat again, it's real. I've said this about a million times. But the lamb's wool is very glary. I have a pair of Target slippers, and I know they're cheap because I pay 15 bucks for them. you got to realise as much as you pay for them generally. But yeah. So usually the material is quite glary if it's fake. They're not bendable. These are bendable. These bend very easily, so they're real, but fake ones do not bend. They're very stubborn, and they, they sort of look like a duck bill, the fake ones. They're sort of a bit pointy at the edge, and they smell very badly. These don't smell. You can just smell the lamb's wool, but the fake ones smell like hair dye. So if you ever, ever dyed your hair, you know that instant dyed smell that just grosses you out. And, yeah... All as I can say is buy the real deal, maybe check where you buy things, check the reviews and the results, and if the reviews say, yeah, they're a great brand, I love them,
go for them or if the reviews say nothing but nonetheless of a bad brand with no potential just be wary with who you buy from and be wary of what Uggs you do buy. So thank you all for watching and goodbye.